Give the ways you can synthesize 1-butane from 1-butene and from 1-chlorobutane. So 1-butene is this. So but that's two carbons and that. Okay, so that's 1-butene. So we are trying to make it from 1-butene. We'll take this one step at a time. Okay, and so which means we'll start with A first and we'll go to B. But in any case, in 1-butene, okay, this is the structure. So this question doesn't really ask you for any mechanisms. Okay, it's just making sure that you know how to do synthesis. Okay, so you can do retrosynthesis or you can go forward. In this case, we will go forward. All right, so here... Um, with alkene, you have nothing to eliminate, which means uh, you need to have a leaving group on there. Okay, so when you have just an alkene, you only have hydrogens, and hydrides are terrible leaving groups. Okay, so you want to actually add a leaving group on there first. So we know that we can do addition reactions on bromine on alkene. So we'll add bromine to this and get two leaving groups on here. Usually for most reactions, you need to have some sort of leaving groups, okay? And especially for elimination reaction, which this is because you're going from an alkene to an alkyne. So you're doing elimination, you need to have a leaving group. So now we need to eliminate these two bromines, okay? So if you do two eliminations, if you do one elimination, you will get an alkene with a bromine. Remember again, the important thing about elimination is alpha, beta elimination, okay? So which means that at one point, you will be eliminating these two, and at another point, you will be eliminating these two, okay? So it's a one, two, or alpha, beta elimination, okay? So um, in this case, because we are going to the alkyne, it doesn't really matter how you do the elimination, whether you do it in one step or two steps. So we'll just do it all together. So you can write excess, okay? And my short form for excess is this, and you can feel free to use this if you want to um, for me in my homeworks and whatnot. So if you need excess of some strong, base a very good base is going to be sodium amide okay NaNH2 so you use excess of NaNH2 and then you're going to get the triple bond and I know this is kind of wrong so I'm going to go ahead and erase that no the structure is not wrong it's the uh, bond angle okay that I have to be careful about so here there we go okay so that is the uh, elimination that you will get okay friend this is a synthesis you can write for uh, the first one let's look at the second one now so if you had one chlorobutane one chlorobutane the good thing about all of this is that you're making four carbons from a four carbon so which means we haven't really added or subtracted any carbons here so that's a good thing sort of it it you know can alleviate some of the problems for us so in this case we have a leaving group but we don't have two leaving groups so if you have one leaving group then you can only have one elimination which means that if i remove this one okay then i need to do something else okay in here so you first have to do some sort of elimination all right over here and the elimination you need to do again is going to be with a strong base you can use any nh2 if you want to so let's go ahead and use any 2 we can't write excess here because we don't really need excess it is also understood that most reagents are going to be excess now what is eliminated here is going to be hcl now it's up to you if you want to write that or not um, i don't mind if you don't write it okay just like over here you actually had two hbr that was eliminated but you don't have to write it because uh, it's all understood okay that is part of the reactions we try to focus more on organic stuff okay so here's the elimination and now we actually have one butene which is what we worked with over here so we'll just go ahead and quickly finish the synthesis that once you have the one butene you're going to add uh, bromine to this and then you will get the bromines here you can write also if you want as in a okay and then you don't have to write anything else but here you know i'll go ahead and write all of this out because you know what i will just do it okay here we go all right so that's it so you take different approaches depending on what your starting material is